Since taking office, the Biden administration has been pushing to move the U.S. to a carbon-free electric grid by 2035. Of course, that's not an easy task. The U.S. Energy Secretary visited Colorado today to make a big announcement about net zero investments. Denver 7's Megan Lopez shows us where the investments will go when she asked the secretary about rising gas prices. Beautiful, sunny, clear, breezy days like this are exactly the type of conditions that the National Renewable Energy Lab thrives on. But the facility itself is not actually carbon neutral. Today, the U.S. Energy Secretary paid a visit here and announced tens of millions of dollars in investments to prove that net zero is possible. But it comes at a time that a lot of people are facing high gas prices. On a picture-perfect Colorado day, a facility that's no stranger to big-name visits became the backdrop to the future. We want to really demonstrate that we can walk this talk. U.S. Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm came to the National Renewable Energy Lab for a big announcement. What we're announcing today is $38 million to these uh, labs. $38 million to make NREL and three other labs across the country net zero on emissions. Because the irony of this lab that specializes in solar and wind energy is it's a carbon emitter itself. In 2020, the lab released the rough equivalent of the annual emissions of 2,300 homes or 4,600 passenger vehicles. If you can get to net zero when you've got all of these supercomputers and others will be able to do it around the country as well. But this net zero dream comes as many across the country still face the reality of high gas prices. Prices, the secretary says, could continue to rise. When China comes back, uh, opens up after COVID, people will be driving. That will be a pull on demand. You'll see an upward pressure on prices. The Biden administration is releasing a million barrels a day from the strategic petroleum reserves to bring prices down. But the amount that they release is a very small percentage of what we consume every day. This is exactly why Granholm says renewable energy Energy investments are so important now because truly no one has ever weaponized access to the sun. But experts say we're still a far way off from that future. Do you think we can make that goal right now? Are we on the right path? I, I would say right now we're not. In order to get to 100% renewable electricity or 100% zero carbon electricity by 2035, we will need to triple that amount that we install each year. And it will take a lot of political will to get there, which can be tough with those gas prices still being felt by so many. Megan Lopez, Denver 7. And NRL is hoping to have its Flatirons campus net zero by next year and its main campus net zero by 2026.